Hey cheapers, so look at this mess will ya? I had to pull the pack yesterday. Well, I only had to pull this cell, but I decided to pull the whole pack out and check it um, just for broken fuses and stuff like that. I was doing my daily voltage and stuff like that and um, I don't know how I did it, but I, I knocked this cable here and just ripped up all the fuses because they're only, um, they're only that real thin fuse wire. So just broke them all off. So I took the opportunity to pull that and have a quick look and I'm really happy with it. Um, let it rest for about 12 hours. I checked all the voltages without it connected and it, it's beautiful. That bottom pack is staying bal balanced better than those top two. Um, I've been told about these little things. Um, and apparently they're bad for your batteries because they all draw a different load. Um, each one of these things is supposed to be a an LED. And, a, and an 8 uses more electricity than a 1. Now that's not very much over a battery that size. But over a year or two, actually significantly put it out of balance. I don't know how much, I should try and do that. I don't know how to do that test, but I should try and work out how much that draws. It wouldn't be very much, but still, if you only had one battery or something, they draw a different amount of power, so I'm not using them anymore. Um, and also I had this fan running on these two packs cooling uh, my PCM60X and the batteries are 57.3 volts so they're almost fully charged it's at 110 volts so it's going up into float mode um, the inverter is turned on so it must be still producing enough to cover cover, cover what the house is using at the moment um, yeah so I had these two batteries on this fan for about two weeks three weeks something like that and it actually drew those power, those two banks down significantly lower than the rest so I'm using my IMAX just to put a bit extra into both. It's a bit of manual balancing, but it's how I've done it all the time. And that's gonna get better. I'm gonna improve all this. And look at this, I've got fans in the shed now. Although, they don't seem to be keeping it much cooler. Don't know what the go is, but they're not working real well. So, <laughs> I do have that big, big fan up there but it's the oldest fan I own, but it worked, pushed a bit of air around, um, around the, the, the space. The plan was with these ones, is they've got a hole there that's 32 millimetres wide, and that hole in the back down there is 32 millimetres. I was just going to stick them on there and just pump some air in, but it's a ridiculously fiddly idea, so I gave up pretty quickly. Um, I will be doing cooling. I've got a lot of really, really good suggestions on cooling. Um, that's just kind of go down the track a little bit because it's starting to get cool now already. Um, now I've put an actual meter in here and I've started to be a little bit concerned about the little loads that are on this thing. And look at this, 16.86 kilowatt hours in 15 days. That's a little bit of energy, isn't it? And that's just that fan. This is this is where Pete's professional video making comes in, and that computer. It, that computer only draws. Ugh. Where is it? Now I completely don't know how to use this meter. Uh, function low high. So the computer only uses 30 watts and there's, you know, I've had, I've been trying to put on buddy hubs and everything else. I ended up pulling everything out of it because it just didn't work so well. I even pulled that meter out of it, that watts clever meter because it wasn't working so well. So if we go from here, we go up to the shed, have a look at the next thing I'm working on and up to the shed, the dog dug a hole. The dog dug a hole. She looks very guilty. Yes, yeah, she looks very guilty. That was the strawberry patch. Right, back up in the workshop again. I still haven't done much with all these cells. There's, well, let's just say there's a lot there. We got the next, this is the 40th kilowatt hour pack. Um, I've still got to, I've just got to assemble that. They're all laying around, all processed up. And of course, underneath there is 
literally hundreds of that 400 and something cells in there all blue all for the outside even though they look purple but what I brought you up here to show you is I am going to pull all of that board off I don't know what board it's called it's just got the little pegboard pegboard might be the word so I'm going to clear off all of this bench pull off all that board there and replace it with another big piece of um, nice solid thick um, there is some apparently I went to the, the hardware store yesterday and they got some nice thick timber that's um, fire resistant and stuff like that so I'm gonna put a, a huge bit of board up there now I'm what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put so I got that mount there that's obviously the version 5 mount I think um, so I'm gonna mount this pack up on that wall now when I, I mount that pack up on the wall I'm going to use this one to learn some new stuff. I want to make this um, this project so much better than it currently is and I want to learn some new stuff and I want to progress a little bit and I've got nothing in any of the discharges at the moment. It just takes too long. That thing's a beast. I can do over a hundred cells a day. So I <laughs> I, I can't keep up so YouTube there's an update it's pretty bloody average Monday there will be another one in fact I might open that box on Monday that's a very cool box I'll see you on the next one cheers tubers